Some people had asked me how you set up the black box to sequence external MIDI devices. So what I've got set up here are two MIDI devices. I've got this little Mi Blip triode, a little kind of baseline sequencer or a synthesizer. And then I've got a Yamaha Reface DX over here, FM synthesizer. Uh, and then on the black box, what I'm doing is I'm sending out MIDI over the TRS to MIDI adapter. Uh, and you could probably do the through, uh, send the send the second channel through the Yamaha, but just because I'm trying this thing out and it seems super, super cool, I'm using the RetroKits RK004. Um, and by the way, all this is stuff I've bought except for this. This was given to me by RetroKits, so I wanted to be... Uh, clear about that because that's important um, but this is taking in my uh, MIDI that's coming from the black box and then it's sending um, channel one to the triode and channel two to the uh, Yamaha so here's how it works I'm gonna mute some sequences here and let's have a look just at this is a sequence that I programmed uh, using the piano roll. And what you're going to hear is this driving the Yamaha. So uh, I'm going to put on some headphones so I can monitor this. OK, so that's going to loop. I'll let that loop. Um, and then what you can see is if I come over here to the Yamaha and just pick some different uh, sound banks. Okay, you can hear what's going on. Some of these have, uh, some of these are mono, some of these poly. You'll hear chords in this if you listen right here. All right, so that's a, that's got a nice one there. Bunch of delay on it. Uh, so that sequence, the way that's running out is in the info here, I've sent MIDI out to channel two. So you can go through and select you see if I go to three, I've got nothing on three. Nothing's listening on three. So you can go up to 16 channels of MIDI out. So let's come back to two on that one. Uh, then if I come back over to sequences and let's just turn on sequence one here. And I've turned off sequence two. Now what I'm sequencing uh, or sending out through the MIDI is to channel one. Uh, let's go back here. And you can see I'm sending out MIDI channel one on this sequence. So this is a different sequence, similar, but different. So now I can come over the triode and mess around. Let's get a little LFO. And then I can come back to sequences here and turn on. And now if I also want to play a sample based sequence from the black box, I've got audio out coming off of channel uh, one left and right. You're probably only hearing stereo just because how I'm recording this, but I've got a stereo um, audio out coming from the black box. And that is just this drum sequence is what I have running. So if we run over here, by the way, this is cool. So the encoders are useful for getting to a sequence without triggering. If I touch that right now, I'm going to trigger it, but I don't want to. I just want to highlight it so I can look at the info. Okay, so if I look at info on this, this is a drum pad uh, sequence essentially that's going to play these, some of these uh, se samples that I've loaded in here. This one here is actually a throwaway. I'm not playing some audio off of that because it's what I'm using to sequence these two pieces of gear. Uh, and the way that's done is just by heading over to look at the mixer. I've just turned that one off. If I had that one running, you'd hear it in this drum sequence. So let's let's check that out. So I'll go over to sequences. Uh, let's just play the drum sequence. So that is actually uh, samples. You can see them getting triggered here. If I come over to sequences, I can start up the triode. And then I've got 
got a different drum sequence similar. It's just a simpler one. And now I'm playing through the Yamaha. So uh, that is kind of the basics of how sequencing MIDI and sequencing sample-based stuff on the black box works. And then depending on what the outboard gear is that you're using, you may also uh, need to use the timing clock, uh, which is also sent out over MIDI to run things like arpeggiators. Um, if I hit the song mode here, I can see this is playing at uh, 148 BPM. So let's lower that. going to stay locked in sync because they're all running off the same clock. Uh, and there are other clock options. Uh, you can run a, an analog uh, sort of click track or sync, sync clock out of here, uh, do different things with that, especially for analog gear. Um, and I may end up using that with the retro kits in order to sync up a pocket operator because then I can use this as a clock divider. Switch out the Yamaha. Hey, bells. Let's go to a different bank. While I'm actually running these mini sequences out, I can then go and change uh, the piano rolls on those. Let's let's give that a shot. Let's go to something. That's nice. So I'm, I'm going to turn off the drums here. So now I'm only sending out. Actually, let's go. Motion pad here. Back in. 